<sighs> Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're going over to Blue Monkey Brewery, based in Giltbrook in Not um, on the Nottinghamshire Derbyshire border, for their chili and ginger tequila barrel aged imperial stout. There we go. Don't think I've ever come across a tequila barrel aged stout. To be fair, uh, twelve point two percent. It says um, Blue Monkey have been working. On a barrel aged imperial stout series, we have brewed six very special imperial stouts and laid them to rest in different oak barrels. This being a, a tequila barrel. So 12.2%. Let's uh, get in and. Um, well, we'll see how it tastes. Just make sure that sticks up. Want me head inside the uh, photo. So here we go. Now I'll let you on to a secret, I absolutely love ginger. Not really keen on chilli so much, but love ginger. And I'm fair with tequila. So a black pour with a, a tan head that's receding rather quickly. Oh gosh, that smells amazing. Um, I can smell the, the chilli, I can smell chocolate. The hint of tequila there, a little bit of ch uh, ginger in the background. Oh, gosh, and it looks amazing too. Look at that for a bit. Glass is stunning as well. Pick this glass up for the weekend from the Blue Monkey uh, web uh, shop. Heat from the chili. Um, the ginger is quite far in the background at the moment. Tequila sitting just behind the chili. Very interesting. Obviously, there's a base imperial start that they use for this. And uh, Real good heat from the chilli. <laughs> um, I do like a bit of fire. I do. Uh, you know, as a ginger beer fan, uh, chilli and ginger go hand in hand with a bit of fire, a bit of warmth, a bit of a kick in that heat. Oh, it's got some heat in this bad boy, has. Oh, and ABV as well. Um, Oh. oh, blimey. Oh. Proper heat in that. Um, like I say, I absolutely love um, that immersion, that, you know, that feeling of good heat, chilli and ginger. You know, if you're not heating your beers, Imperial Stout Base, chilli ginger, Tequila barrel aged. Whoa. Um, gotta say, whoever devised this over at Blue Monkey, um, fair play, fair play. I don't know the, the actual brewer or the person who thought about this, but I tip the raggy hat. I have a feeling I know who it is, but I tip the raggy hat anyway. Um, Is immense. I've seen tequila barrel aged in a sour, but not tequila barrel aged in an impy uh, stout. And uh, you know, heat, big strong beers, tequila. Oh, it's it's a match made in heaven. This is the second of the six beers that I've had. From the from the Imperial range, and uh, oh, that's a beast. It's an absolute beast of a bear. Oh my gosh! Um, 
you know when you come across a beer that's like this that's literally amazing and the ability to save you something so um, off the charts nice I, I, I love ginger I can feel the heat still in the back of my throat and the heat from the chilli and ginger I think more so the chilli than the ginger but I can certainly feel the heat I can taste the tequila um, the good fellow that I spoke to and I, I do apologise I don't know your name and you know he says he knows me and I'm like oh you know and it's really strange you know um, being brutally honest that I'm just a gardener in life who does beer reviews there's a wife she's home now Good thing I'm not there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I love what I do as a gardener. Uh, did the beer review thing. Only because I've seen somebody do beer reviews on the webs on the internet, on, on the news. And I'm like, I can do that. I can talk about beers. I said some fruitier words than that, to be fair. But I can certainly talk about beers. Um, I'm actually quite shy in real life. And uh, always have been, always will be. Said I've had a drink and then I don't care. And uh, but um, but wow, chili ginger, oh, immense. Like I said, the second of the barrel age beers, and uh, wow, that heat. This is a beer that ticks the, uh, the Raggy Avenue boxes and, uh, you know, absolutely hits the spot for me. Um, just the sheer heat on the beer. Staggering. Absolutely staggering. Um, it's a beer that makes me just want to sleep. I feel sleepy because I've been in the cold all day. And, um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've been in the cold all day and the heat makes Mr. Raggy sleep because this, especially at this time of the year, you know, I wrap myself up in a fleece when I go and put the fire on and just try and warm up. Um, pitfalls of being a gardener. But I love what I do, you know. You all love what you do. Um, one day before I'm not too old, I'd like to get into the brewery trade in some in some ways, you know, uh, brewing amazing beers and beers that you know really. I mean, for me, my my absolute wish is to have a tap room. Will it happen? Well, we've all got a wish, haven't we? You know, in life, you know, and uh, we've all got to aspire to that. You know, do the best you can. Be the best you can. Work the best. Be the best worker. You know, even in my own workplace now, I see people who don't pull their weight, who get away with blue murder, sadly. And, and yeah, oh, yeah, we've got an easy job. My job's never easy. But I love what I do. And, and to the people at Blue Monkey, you know, um, the staff that I see at Blue Monkey, uh, they all seem to love what they do, and uh, that's the way to be. To to run a run a brewery where everybody loves what they do, you know, and loves their bosses. You know, some somebody is a boss. It, you know, it's inevitable. Somebody's a boss. Somebody has to make hard decisions. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, you know that making the right decisions, being the human being and doing the best. We, when you look at any brewery in the world or any business in the world, plusing that business is the best way. I look at somebody like Walt Disney and his, it was never finished. The ethos was never finished that thing to go on and to be better, to always strive to be better, never to never to sit on your laurels, to always be better. And uh, 
Wow, that's hit me hard, that has, because I'm talking, yeah. But I'm still talking cents, but um, yeah. The beer's the same. That is a grade A gobsmacking the awesome beer. Um, the chilli, the combination of chilli, chilli, ginger, tequila, barrel aged work amazingly well. Obviously the ABV, obviously. Um, but wow. This is, to me, um, a true Raggy Avenue beer. Hashtag Raggy, Raggy Avenue. Um, it delivers, it delivers on aroma, um, taste, ABV, and uh, and the brewery behind it, because, you know, it's all right having so many elements, but all the elements have got to fit to be a beer that I'd love to call a Raggy Avenue beer. This is that beer. What a stunner. Would I drink this again? <sighs> God's sakes, you know. <laughs> Whoever did these beers, and I'm guessing, you know, maybe I'm, I'm, I might know who, but you know, we'll see. Um, this is the second of us, the six, the, the six beers from Blue Monkey, their Barrel Age series. These are statement beers. Um, Blue Monkey, yes, they are known for modern traditional. They've recently, in the last year or so, ventured into craft beer but this is something beyond that even this is next level you know for me um and uh yeah it's up there with the best craft beer brewery beers that i've ever tasted um <clears throat> and uh wow um, would I drink it again? Yes, all day long. Out of five. Scores don't really mean a thing in, in the grand scheme of things. But all day long, with 4.7 out of five for me. That is a stunner. And, uh, God. Wife's home. God be good. Thank you for watching. See you soon.